my hands made by Fender. This is a Squire Dual Sonic. And there was another model similar to this called a Music Master and it only had one pickup. And these are single coil Al Nico pickups and you can switch back and forth with a three-way switch. You know, when it's in the middle, both pickups are on. When it's up, front pickup. When it's down, back pickup. If somebody doesn't know anything about electric guitars, uh, when the pickups are farther forward, you get a bassier sound. You know, deeper sound. Usually they call that the rhythm pickup. You get a more full-bodied sound. And then when you're on the back pickup, you get a trebly sound, brighter kind of twangy kind of sound. Uh, this guitar comes with just one volume and one tone control and uh, unlike the Gibson guitar which has a separate volume and separate tone control it's a simplified idea uh, I guess uh, to cut down costs and uh, and just uh, uh, basically I guess cut down costs simplify the whole idea uh, these were uh, originally like a student level guitar a kids guitar beginning uh, guitar and it's got a shorter scale neck than uh, your uh, Stratocaster or Telecaster. This has got a 24 inch neck and the uh, the Stratocaster I believe is uh, 25 and 3 quarters. Uh, I don't consider myself uh, a memory expert but it's much shorter than uh, the uh, Stratocaster and for that reason it's easier to uh, play, you know, uh, chords and uh, do stretches because the frets are all closer together. This is a, a, a maple neck and this uh, stringer, a redwood uh, T stringer, I mean that's what we call them in surfing, you know. Uh, that's uh, That slot that was originally there, they used to put the truss rod in and then they cover it up, you know, with that. Plus it strengthens, you know, even though they, they, they put uh, you know, a, a slot in there and they put that wood in there, it strengthens the wood. Now, these are uh, a vintage style machine head that uh, has plastic uh, knobs on it, turning machine knobs, you know. Interesting, it's got the uh, slotted uh, uh, peg head. Now a lot of people don't know this, but uh, there's a hole inside there that you could push the string into and wrap it on. So like you might cut the uh, string about three inches or four inches uh, uh, back and then stick it into that hole and then when you tighten it out it wraps it up and then you don't have a you know uh, string uh, sticking out you know the, the ending bit that you can uh, poke your finger on. I've done that before it hurts <laughs> several times so so that's a nice uh, feature and it keeps the string from unraveling. I always like when I'm wrapping these plain strings that aren't wound, you know, those would be the, the wound strings. These plain ones don't have that wrap. I always make the uh, string wrap on top of itself, even when a guitar has some sort of, uh, you know, design to uh, keep the string from slipping out of the machine head. I always make sure it's wrapping across itself. It's like a superficial knot to keep the uh, string from unraveling. Uh, it's got a, a string tree. That's to keep the... Uh, the pitch angle, so there's pressure on the nut. This nut, by the way, is a, a, a synthetic a plastic of some kind. Corian is a material that gets used. Uh, so, so if that wasn't there, this the the uh, you know the angle from the string up to the nut uh, wouldn't be uh, critical enough to give a nice tension to the tone from these open strings. And the reason why it's designed like that is because uh, I think Leo Fender originally was using a just straight 2x4 to carve these, uh, you know, uh, necks out of. And, and, it, and it's, uh, you know, there's not enough, but, well, if, if he would have used a thicker piece of wood, then he could have pitched that headstock back and you wouldn't need that tree. But to, to save money and materials, uh, they make it a straight, you know, neck all the way out. And then they put this pitch angle to keep that angle right. I like this guitar. Uh, 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 a lot because it has these uh, a larger fret. This would make a good blues guitar for somebody because these uh, frets are uh, uh, slightly bigger than they used to be in the earlier models, and it's easier to bend notes. You know.
easy for me to, uh, to play it, not just because it's short scale, which makes it even easier, but uh, it's got a larger fret on it. This is uh, al aluminum, or oh, that's what we say in Australia, aluminum, uh, anodized, you know, gold-plated pickguard. That's kind of handsome, and that's, ac that's actually uh, uh, the style of pickguard that was in the 50s when these were originally made. So this is kind of like a vintage reissue. Uh, desert sand is the, uh, is the name of this color, kind of a, uh, a beige, but they call it desert sand. It's got uh, a, a solid bridge with these barrel uh, saddle pieces. That's, that's all traditional, uh, very much like the original uh, design. This, this might be a little troublesome, uh, having the uh, input jack coming straight out of the guitar, so you'd get a, an L you know, an L jack so the chord would go like that. That would be a better idea because you might, you know, in a wild strumming, you know, passionately smash into that, you know, and hit your hand on that, maybe break something. But it is in metal, so that's pretty substantial. Uh, these are Al Nico single chord pickups, like I said. Not a bad little instrument. I think they retail for uh, somewhere uh, above, uh, slightly above $400. Uh, you get a discount, you know, you might get between two and $300. Uh, the only thing I see on the whole entire guitar that I, I'm a little surprised about is uh, right where the frets come to the edge, you can see the uh, cut where, the, uh, where the, the saw cut into the wood in order to, to you know, install these frets. Uh, on a, on a uh, more expensive or a higher profile guitar, you wouldn't see that line right there. Uh, not that it uh, takes anything away from the guitar, but visually you, you can see that there it's the, where the saw is cut into the wood. That's about it. This is a uh, dual sonic.